Stand by for the Monday morning Storyland March! My name is Buckskin Bill Black. The name of this television program is Storyland. This is Buckskin Bill saying you're never completely dressed until you put on a smile. Thank you for being so nice to me. Remember, Baton Rouge needs a zoo. Why don't we buy the biggest animal for the zoo? And I realize we don't maybe have a lot of money, but let's do it with pennies. So every day we would play Lawrence Welk's Elephant Walk. And if anybody wanted to walk by the safe and put pennies in, they did. Good morning, boys and girls. It's 8.30 and time for a visit to Buckskin Bill's Storyland Cabin. Tonight, join us as we look back and march on. Revealing beautiful behind-the-scenes stories we've never told you. He was put to trial a lot. We never, ever rehearsed anything, ever. <laughs> Holly Gully. Handful. How many? A legacy that lives on through you as WAFB presents Buckskin Bill Marches On. You know what we always do first on a Monday morning, don't you? Do we always do a march first on Monday morning? You're right. Buckskin Bill marched with so many of you from this very spot on the floor and really all over this studio. And while you can see that the famed Storyland cabin and Buckskin Bill set are long gone, so much of the magic that went on here is still very, very much alive today. Friends, I'm Greg Merriweather. As Buckskin Bill would say, thanks for joining us, boys and girls. As you'll see tonight, that magic does indeed live on in hearts that are now 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old and beyond. In fact, we'll start with one of them. One of Buckskin Bill's most trusted sidekicks, stand-ins, puppeteers. Here's What's Your Name? Now that really is her name, sort of. <laughs> when we went to commercial, Stanley, the director, came in, flying out the door and he said, what in the heck is going on? <laughs> it's been 31 years since Mary Hillen stood in this studio, her old stomping, dancing, and marching grounds. Buckskin Bill's children's show started in 1955 and was on the air for 35 years. For a lot of the last half of that, he had a sidekick of sorts. Well, on this Monday morning, our television program is live. And I think we have some help. I know we have some help, and the help is in the form of a puppet. And the puppet's name is What's Your Name? Hi, what's your name? Good morning. My Hi. eye was stuck. <laughs> your eye was stuck? Yes, what's Your Name's your real name, name, name is Mary Hillen. The big set was here, but Bill would always be standing here. But he would always be well in front of the set, standing here. Big, he was a big guy. Oh, very big. And, uh, when the camera would come on, he would say, hello there, I've been waiting for you. And that's what he said every time. Souls in danger, look above, Jesus completely saved. It all started when Mary's puppeteer team was supposed to be on the Buckskin Bill show to promote an upcoming workshop. But at the last minute, her puppeteers chickened out on her and didn't want to do live TV. So at the last second, Mary grabbed a puppet and made up a voice, but forgot to pick a name. As the show started, she forgot something else. I was sitting there on the floor like this, and he's looking at the camera. And when we got ready to go on the air, he looks down at me and he says, when we go on the air, you are going to turn that puppet around, aren't you? <laughs> That's how experienced I was. So anyway, I turned the puppet around and we did our little ad lib thing opening the show. And uh, that was over with. And I was like, Phew, that's over with, you know. Well, toward the end of the show, he says, you know, that was really fun. We, we really kind of clicked. He said, come close the show with me. He told me that day, he said, he says, you know, you can come back as long as you want and advertise your show as long as you want. So I came back for 20 years. <laughs> 
So for years, Miss Mary was right there by Buckskin Bill's side as you watched to hear your name on TV for your birthday or get a get well wish. Dear Buckskin, I watch you on TV every day. I love the little rascals and also Abbott and Costello. I'd like to know if you could please have Stephen come back on your show and paint a picture for me. I'll make a sound and then you guess what the sound I'm making is. We call this an exercise in gross sounds or ambient sounds, things around us, all around us. There are sounds all the time. Everything, everything had a purpose. I had to take uh, maybe three, at least two, but maybe three complete parenting courses so that I could learn how to ad-lib with him in a proper way, in the way that he wanted me to. Now here's a real treat. One of Miss Mary's favorite memories, they took the Buckskin Bill show on the road to the World's Fair in New Orleans. This video has not been seen in 39 years. It's one of many that we recently discovered from Buckskin's personal collection. Buckskin was even known there outside of WAFB land. And by the way, you weren't the only ones watching. Miss Mary says they would often be surprised. Certain random ideas that they would come up with just for the Buckskin Bill show would somehow end up on another very popular kids show. I know they used to watch us. I know they did. Because a lot of things I saw on Sesame Street, I know where they got it. It was fun to watch how he was on camera and then off camera that he's a real person. Marcel Solomon followed in her mother's footsteps and did one memorable puppet. She was Bridget the, well, let's just say that Bridget was a tiny little thing. Robin Melton, I have a feeling you came down here as a brownie or a bluebird. <laughs> brownie. Yeah. Still giggling, A few huh? years ago, still okay. giggling. Okay, Broadmoor Middle, we want to meet our group. You know, it's hard not to know someone who was either on the show or knew someone who was. For a while, Storyland and the Buckskin Bill Show aired in the morning and the afternoon live. You're just like these happy people in the Storyland cabin. Outside of being on TV, Buckskin Bill did thousands of personal appearances. He would be at a fair or a parade, many different parades. You know, it's a little known fact that in New Roads, their Mardi Gras parades, Buckskin started an Ash Wednesday tradition. You see, one of his sponsors, Wholesome Bread, would follow him in the bread truck, throwing out little wrapped loaves of bread. Well, the kids who couldn't eat meat the next day would save their Buckskin breads and eat them with peanut butter. And of all those personal appearances, Mary remembers one day when she made a discovery in Buckskin Bill's office. You know, he did tons of personal appearances and he never accepted payment for any of them. He never threw anything away. I ran across all these checks, just tons of them covered in dust. And I'm going, what are these? And eh, that's checks people insisted on giving me for a personal appearance. He'd just come back to the office and throw it on the shelf. He didn't want to be paid. I think that we'll be talking about him after I'm gone, probably, I would think, uh, because it was such a big deal in Baton Rouge that we had this local television show and your brownie troop, your Boy Scouts, you could come and be on the show. Hey, may I call? Hey, Patrick. Patrick Cutright, six years old. Come in and throw, throw us a quick right quick, will you? Uh, Patrick is six years old. And just to let you know that it's very easy to learn <laughs> to spin the top. You know what his favorite saying was? I used to hear it almost every day. A hundred years, nobody's going to know the difference. But that's wrong. A hundred years from now, they may not know who or why, but they will know there's a difference, maybe. A difference indeed. You know, in that piece, we showed you buckskin clips that haven't aired in decades, and we are not finished yet. When we come back, we are going to open the vault wide open. Some of Buckskin's favorites, the tapes and films that he kept close to heart, now back on TV for the first time. And what we found neatly tucked away in these boxes gave us chills. As we go to break, I want you to check out this gym here. It hasn't seen the light of day in 37 years. It's a song to Buckskin from his fans. Buck 
buckskin bill This song's for you You're our hero still today You taught us to march On Monday mornings To chase the blues away You watched us grow While we watched your show And we learned buckskin style To obey our parents And we're never quite dressed Till we put on a smile Buckskin Bill, Buckskin Bill, I love you still and I always will, Buckskin Bill. We learn things like, good guys don't wear hats in the house and don't bring mud indoors. Be careful that our cowboy boots don't scratch up mommy's floors. And good kids always wash their hands before they sit to eat. And it makes our parents happy When we keep our bedrooms neat Buckskin Bill Buckskin Bill I love you still and I always will Buckskin Bill With a heart as big as all the earth The buckskin faith came through A billion pennies and a million kids Brought a brand new hometown zoo Though I'm older now The things you taught me help me through my day And I want you to know after all these years That I love you still today Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from the pages of history and mass imagination We proudly present that dynamo of dynamics Captain Sparkle, oh, 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 boy, I've been taken once more. Would you turn around, Captain Sparkle, so we can see the back? This is Captain Super Sparkle. I've even missed, oh, boy, I haven't even inter introduced him correctly. It's Captain Sparkle, maybe you'd better tell me where you're from and what the bit is. Yes, I am Captain Super Sparkle. I believe you. And I'm from Sherwood Junior High School. How much money does it cost to have your car washed? Advance tickets are 75 cents, but if you don't have your advance tickets, it'll cost you a dollar. Well, thank you very much. Along with a sign holder, Sherwood Junior High, the student government is putting this on, huh, Captain Sparkle? Yes, sir. Hey, give us that Captain Sparkle pose one more time, would you please? Captain Super Sparkle, in the Buckskin Bill Show, Sherwood Junior High, plan to have your car washed at Broadmoor Shopping Center at the Fidelity Bank there. Thank you, Sherwoodites, for taking time to come to the Buckskin Bill Show. All right. Hi, we're from Bradford Middle School and we're the ADAT Just Say No Club. The skit that we're going to do for you today is called My Oldest Sister. My name is Mary Catherine. My name is Stephanie. My name is Stephanie. My name is John Swady. Kim Crawford. Gigi Gady. Dear Buckskin, I watch you on TV every day. I love the little rascals and also Abbott and Costello. I'd like to know if you could please have Stephen come back on your show and paint a picture for me. He's great. Sure can. My birthday is Friday, April 18th. I'll be five years old. I'd like for what's his name to be Amanda. When we first went through these old tapes and films, we didn't really know what we would find. It turns out we found you. We found your neighbors, your friends, your teachers. And by chance, we found things like this, a beautiful piece from the St. Teresa of Avila Choir in Gonzales. You can watch this full choir performance on WAFB.com and our 9 News app. Hey, feel free to share it with those that you see. In fact, because so much of what we found was lost to time, you might get a glimpse of yourself from what feels like a million years ago. But we have a lot of these memories on a special page that we've set up. Buckskin Bill marches on. You can check it out too and even share what you find on social media. You can march with me at the home or you can just watch here in the cabin if you want to. There's the marching hat. 
and here's our marching baton, then we put on our Storyland smile, and we say, Stand by for the Monday morning Storyland March! This iconic photo of Buckskin is him in his element. Now pay close attention to what he's wearing. It's one of his custom made Western suits, costing around $700. Well, we discovered this suit, preserved and kept at the LSU Textile and Costume Museum. Curator and director, Dr. Michael Mamp gave us a special look at this treasure, now nearly 70 years old, and before he changed over to the signature white suit. I'm one of the originals, and um, definitely from when he was younger. He was very trim mm -hmm. um, when he was younger. He was a very trim guy. But it has this zipper here on the side, which is what allowed him to get in and out of the costume. You know, a chance encounter led us to the treasure of treasures, tucked away deep inside the East Baton Rouge Parish Public Library. Buckskin Bill's private collection, the memories and mementos that he kept from his days in the cabin. All of this was donated to the library by his family. So these are the puppets. We found some familiar old friends that you haven't seen in a long, long time, like Senor Puppet. There are only a few of these still floating around. Buckskin's buddy and WFB legend Sid Crocker is the one that bought the original puppet while he was on vacation in Mexico. I was just talking to the boys and girls and saying, let's do something meaningful. What do you have to say that's meaningful? Would you please get all my hair How much you weigh? How heavy something is that's That's right. When you weigh something in the metric system, you use grams. These guys are there too, the original Storyland cabin friends. And here's something really neat. You'll have a chance to check out some of these treasures for yourself. There's a special display set up at the Special Collections Department. Now you can find this on the second floor of the main library there on Goodwood. Relics of a way and time when magic was made. A happy birthday to Ricky Jaro. Happy birthday to Michael Bazette. And happy birthday to Terry Dale Blades, who is five years old today. If you're sick, we're thinking about you right now. If you're sick in the hospital, please do what the doctors and nurses say because they know best for you and they want you to get well. If you're sick at home, please do what mom and daddy say or whoever's taking care of you because they want you to get well. Get well this morning to Glenda Ploche, who has the mumps, to Dean Pugh, and to Esther Gerald. They also have the mumps. Time to get better acquainted on this Wednesday morning. When we get better acquainted on television, I call it station identification. Watch. You're watching Storyland, and it's coming your way on WAFB-TV, Channel 9 in Baton Rouge. I remember one day on the Buckskin Bill show, for some reason I was in my office, and uh, it was about 10 minutes before the show went on the air and the telephone rang. A little child's voice I could hear, hear say, uh, Hi, Buckskin. I said, Hi. Something about that child's voice that child said, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing fine. I'm getting ready to be on TV now. We're going to do the Buckskin Bill show. He said, I won't see it today. I said, oh, why? And he said, my daddy died. I'm across the street. They didn't want me to call you, but I knew you'd want to know. He was at Ravenhorst at the wake with his father. And I said, yeah, gee, I'm glad you called. I said, you suppose any of them would bring you over here? I, I know you don't want to celebrate or anything, but uh, you'd certainly be welcome to come. 
And sure enough, they brought the lad over. And, and I've often thought when, how often we dismiss things or fluff people off or shut off a communication. And if I had shut that one off, boy, that, that would have been disastrous. Well, the kid who made that call knew he needed to call a friend. And Buckskin Bill was indeed your friend. The kind of friend that would brag on you and your accomplishments. How many of you out there were right here in this studio with your Brownie Troop, your Boy Scouts, all your school groups? Those were the lucky ones to be here. But just even hearing your name on TV was something very special, even 35 years later. Dear Buckskin Bill, we just moved here from Silvby, Texas, and my two girls love your show. Please say hello. Two little two girls and their stars. big moment on Buckskin Bill. And it turns out the little girls were too little to remember this moment when we found them now 35 years later. But their mom still does. She remembers it like it was yesterday. Oh, it was nice, and they were so excited. Dacry, she's my oldest one. She had that picture with the umbrella, and that that, she, that had to be the one that I sent. Dacry would like what's your name to use her name one day. Thank you, Debbie Patrick. We all breathed through a Fourth of July picture. And it brought back really good memories. It sure did. But my favorite part of the show was watching them enjoy the show. Buckskin Bill's legacy is unmatched in many ways. He helped shape so many minds and even make legends like this one. Some things we can do to help us be better aware and practice the control of the parts of our body. Here's Coach Polly. Good morning, Dee Dee. This morning we're gonna do a little bit about strength. Everyone knows in order to be strong, you have to eat correctly. He called me one day and he said, look, I, I wanna do a segment on my show about youth fitness and help the kids. And I grew up watching Buckskin Bill and I'm like, man, this is awesome. So hopefully, if you haven't already eaten a good breakfast, you're planning on eating a good breakfast. That young lady was destined for success even then. But before you can become a legend, you learn. He was so gracious and so wonderful and just, um, just a kind man. You know, it was, it was fun working with him. I really b believe that it was a start to the introduction of LSU gymnastics to the community. But it was always a dream to have this. LSU kind of legend gymnastics coach Dee Dee Bro says Buckskin was a model that thankfully many followed, a model of service to somebody, to young minds, to those in need, just be of service to something. He was such a, a person that gave back to the community and it mattered to him. The, it, and it goes beyond pennies to, to get an elephant for the zoo, but it was more about making the whole community aware that we can be better, that we can do things better, and that he cared about, about the kids exercising. He, he really cared deeper than just um, do this TV thing. You know, he went on, he was on the school board, he just went on and did a whole lot of things that I feel like were really impactful. Thank you, Coach Bro, for your energy then and now. So we've already taken our last break, but I still have a few commercials I'd like to show you. See if you hear any memories here. Hello there, it's Friday in the Buckskin Bill cabin. And wherever you're watching in the big, booming, powerful Channel 9 area, I'm glad you decided to join me. First things like first, Funfair Park is open right now. It'll open at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and be open all day long. And Sunday after church at 1 o'clock, Funfair Park. Families are really enjoying this bit at 1500 Main Godshaws on the second floor. They call it the name game, and that's what they're playing at Godshaws, the name game. Same delicious, pure golden Guernsey milk with a brand new look. And isn't it pretty? Yes, it is. Let me just count them for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yep, there are six there. You can use anything that makes sound. I use bottle caps. When I shake them, they sound like that. But the game is I take some and hide them in my pocket without you seeing or okay. you seeing. Then I shake them and say, holy golly. You say handful. Mm -hmm. Then I say how many. You guess how many there are in my hand. Six. Holy golly. Handful. How many? You guess two. Six. <laughs> you guess six? Right. <laughs> how many do you guess? Okay, let's count and Maybe see. Maybe five. I'm not All sure. All right. One, two, three. Nope, three. there are only three. Buckskin Bill always knew that you were the actual star. 
And as you grew up watching him, you probably didn't realize that he was growing up too. From a young 25-year-old on the frontier of television to the 60-year-old legend by the time the last show aired. I took a picture of Ginger, his daughter. She was there with the grandbaby. And there were some other people uh, in the audience. I don't remember where they were from. There was a lady and some children. He did make a speech at the end. And uh, I just hated it because he was sitting there by himself. And I was so supportive of him all those years. And so I moved my puppet into this scene and just stood there by him. But I never knew if that was the right thing to do or not. I just didn't want him to be there, sitting there by himself, saying goodbye to everybody. Buckskin Bill, a giant on TV and in real life. A veteran, an educator, a husband, a father, your friend. And as Buckskin would say, thank you for being so nice to him. Good night. In person, this is Buckskin Bill saying you're never completely dressed until you put on a smile. Thanks for being so nice to me. Goodbye from the Buckskin Bill Cabinet.